Diretso ho tayo rito, isang senior high school teacher ang dumulog sa aming tanggapan. Reklamo ng guro, iniipit daw ng Emilio Aguinaldo College ang kanyang back pay. Pati sweldo niya sa nakarang buwan ay ayaw din ibigay. Ito ang buong kwento. Ako po si Rachel Eladis Roquero po. Teacher po ako sa Emilio Aguinaldo College po. Gusto ko pong um, tulungan po ako na makuha ko po yung nakahold po na sahod ko po sa kanila po. Saan ho kayo nagtuturo, uh, Rizal? Sa Emilio Aguinaldo College po. Saan yan? Sa UN po. Sa UN, okay. Teacher ka? Apo. Dinismiss ka dahil... Uh... Ano po, bali po kasi, ano na, uh, nag-premature labor po ako. Okay, premature labor. Ba't ka dinismiss dahil premature labor ka? Hindi po, bago, uh, ang ginawa po nila, hindi na po nila na-renew yung contract po. Hindi na renew yung contract mo? Kasi yearly. nagbawas daw po ng teacher. So, so yearly contract kayo? Opo. For example. Hinold yung pera mo uh, noong Oktubre uh, hanggang sa November 5 dahil nag-awol ka? Sabi po nila, hindi daw po nila alam yung status ko kaya ang ginawa daw po nila is awol po. Pero pinapunta ko yung husband ko doon na sinabi pong nag Naglilabor na po ako. O, anong sinabi nila? Ang sabi po nila, wala daw po silang alam sa status ko, kaya pinahold daw po ni principal yung sahod ko. Ganun. Opo, kahit active. Ano. Hindi ka makapag-clearance dahil hindi pa kompleto o... Yung mga pinapasa po nila sa akin. Yung sa part ko po, kompleto na, pero yung sa mga katrabaho ko po, hindi pa po. All right, Monica, I'd like you to do a VTR. Let's put this on the air. And then I'd like you to call Emilio Aguinaldo or Agneta. And then, Deped, I need you to call the principal. I'd like to find out exactly the reasoning and everything. Complain against NLRC, but we'll have to make this because this is inhumane for a woman already about to deliver a baby, is doing a labor, parang premature, and they're, they're not really concerned, okay? They're not really concerned for her welfare. Let's see. We'll pick it up from there and see if something else will come up. Kasama ho natin, nagrareklamo si Rizal Roquero. And kasama bang husband mo? All right, so dalawa kayo. Okay, yan ho, si Rizal, and then yung kanyang asawa. At uh, etong, itong story na ho ito, nakakatawa kasi kung titingnan mo, yung principal naman yung tangang principal. Kung titingnan mo, si, kung principal, lalaki ba ito o babae? Lalaki po. Okay, okay, andyan. Uh, Dr. Lino Reynoso, Senior High School Principal Emilio Aguinaldo College. Magandang hapon ho sa'yo, magandang gabi na sa iyo, sir. Doctor? Hello, Doctor Lino Reynoso. Magandang gabi na ho. Magandang hapon po sa inyo, sir. Si Ben Tulfo sa Bitag Kilos Pronto sa PTV4 ho. And sa Bitag TV. Good afternoon. Good evening. Oh, good evening na, sir. Ma ma sir, lumapit ho sa amin yung isang teacher ho ninyo, si Rizal Roquero, saying na meron pa raw siyang back pay na natitira sa eskwelahan ninyo. Kaya lang, you don't want to be... Well, uh, interfering in this issue Kasi hindi nyo raw alam yung issue Pero sinasabi niya, naglilabor na raw ho siya, sir Hindi siya nag-awul At pumunta pa yung asawa niya sa inyong skwalahan Para lamang ipaalam sa inyo Ngayon, ang sweldo niya, nakarambuan Ayaw raw ibigay eh, Sir, masyadong ang Christian naman siguro to If this is true I mean, uh, can you explain to me, sir? Okay, sir, ganito po yun uh, Ms. Richard has uh, received so many complaints from the students because she was not coming to class regularly. Okay. So then uh, she has received uh, several memorandum from the team leader, from the coordinator, mm -hmm. uh, from non-compliance of submission of lesson plan and the other requirements. So your stu students are saying that she's not coming to class. So All right. Verified. All right. And we saw it's really true. So right. the team leader of Filipino department talked to him, to her. And then uh, when I talked to her, because it's one month before the end of the semester, that is senior high school po yan. Mm -hmm. So I told her, Miss Rachel, I think we cannot renew your employment with us next semester. Then the day after I talked to her, that was October 24, 25, she was out now. All right, sir, can I start uh, talking now? Okay, I don't have any question or I don't have any issue where you don't have to renew her contract, and that's yes. within your rights as, as far as whatever your decision is concerned. My concern okay. and my issue here, sir, is about what about the back pay? What about the, the payment that you're supposed to pay her 
for this duty and the services rendered? No, she she has to report to the HR. Well, I uh, sir, sir, okay, sir, I, sir. You know, let's let's. With the requirements. Yeah, yeah. Okay, submit. sandali, sir, sandali, you know. Sir, nandito ho kasama namin ang inyong prince, uh, teacher. Ngayon, sinasabi niya, siguro sir, maintindihan niyo man, galing tayo sa ating mga nanay. Pag ang nag-labor ho ang nanay, naturalmente, hindi makapasok. Pumunta pa ho yung, 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 ano, yung kanyang husband sa inyong eskwelahan para ipaalam. Kaya lang somebody says, we're not concerned about your issue. And as far as we're concerned, you're no longer hired because your service is terminated. We don't have any issue on that. Nag-i-English na ako ko sa inyo, sir. Maganda siguro mag-Tagalog na lang tayo para magkakaintindihan because we can go any further if you want. Ang gusto ko lang husabihin, where's the due process? I think, uh, that you the think what? salary is with our HR. Why can't you just give her the salary? Because that's a must because the service has been rendered. You can fire her after that. You can dismiss her. No, sir. But, but the question that I'm saying, sir, pumasok na hurito yung National Labor Relations Commission. And sir, we will... Can, can I say my, my point? Go ahead. Okay. Miss Richel Roquero went to the Dole last week. Did she tell you that? Yes. She went to the Dole and the Dole arbiter said, uh, comply with the submission of the grades. Do you know that we were delayed in releasing our semester grade because she has not submitted her grade for all her classes. Mm. There's no problem. The school will release to her okay. all her dues, all, all right. the fees due all to right. her. All right. But we are waiting for the grades of the students. All right, the sir. All right, sir, grade. just a minute. Let's give the teacher a chance to explain. Ikaw naman, teacher. Saan yung sasabihin mo? Nagpasa na po ako ng Thursday pa po. Then, tinanong ko po si Sir Francis nung Friday. Ang sabi po niya, wala pang pinipirmahan si Doc. Doc! Kayo pa lang wala pang pinipirmahan. Nakasubmit na, na ng last week pa raw, sabi ni, ni teacher. Narinig mo yan? Ere ho tayo ngayon. Nationwide, worldwide, napapakinggan ho tayo. Pati DepEd, pati yung sinasabing Department of Labor. Uh, it is just within the right of a teacher to complain to the Department of Labor because this is a labor problem. But then again, kinomplain na ho yung requirements for her to be cleared and the given, you know, you, you ought to give her the pay. Now, kung sinasabi niyong hindi pa na compliant requirements, can you check Mr. Lino, Dr. Lino Reynoso, yung sinasabing requirements that she just complied with? Sir, can we, can we clarify that? Yes. If did not comply, the compliance is she has to encode the grades in our system. She has to encode. Okay. She has yeah, to What naman. she did, right. she left the class record. What do we do? She will ask me to encode for her? Okay, so yes, so yes. No, 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 no. It's a, she, 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 teacher, you're not involved here. You're the husband. Now, speak up, Ang teacher. Ang sabi po kasi sa akin ng STL ko po, siya na raw po yung mag encode sa AIMS. Sino may sabi? Uh, no, yung no, si, ano po, si Dr. Eneluna po. Ay, si Sir Eneluna po. Anong utos ni Dolan sa inyo na pumunta kay last week? Saka, Dolan ano told you, go to the okay. school and he told you. Pagdilina ko lang po ah, kasi dun sa clearance po, wala pong nakalagay na kailangan namin siyang i-encode sa AIMS. Dala ko po yung list po nung sa clearance. Oh, Ang sabi sa lang clearance po, at saka sir, wala daw nakalagay sa encode. It's, it's all verbal what you're saying. It's supposed to be written in black and white. Sir, sir it's not true. That's an order. We had a department meeting. Just oh, did you us. did you put that in black and white given yes, to her? Sir. Meron yes, ka ba na Wala po akong natanggap na kailangan po. Pero yung sinasabing sa encoding, hindi raw kasama. Hindi po nakalagay dun sa clearance po. Can you give us a copy, sir, of that order na sinasabing? Because we will we will compare yung yung binigay nyo sa kanila, natatanggap niya, and she signed that the received versus the one that you're saying. Baka hindi humakay magkapareho. Sir, but how can we issue the grade if she... No, 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 sir. Yung, yung requirements muna kasi question dito. The grades come after... The grades come after the fact na nag-comply siya. And then after compliance then, you should release her pay. So in yes, the meantime... Sir, after she has encoded the grade... Well, yun nga, sir, ang sinasabi namin, sir, eh. The grade, the, the, the ones encoding, uh, encoding, whatever it is, on the system... Was it written in black and white as part of the order? No, 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 no. If it's if it's if it's written there, I think, sir. I think if it's written there, then I will comply her. 
well, to do it. I will I obligate her open, to comply with. I cannot open her own okay. uh, system because she has All right, my system, ka ba? No. And she yeah, sabi, he cannot open audience. her system. Naintindi mo kung sinasabi nito? Bali po, nalaman ko na lang po yan nung nakausap, nakausap ko po si Sir Inaluna nung Thursday. Inaluna? Okay. okay. Yung ano SPL sinasabi? ko po. Ang sabi po niya, kailangan daw po yung employee ID ko. Employee ID? Po. Para maka-access ka? Sa system daw po. Ayun! Employee ID for the system, sir. Do you have employee ID? Number po. Meron po. Number lang? Opo. ID so, number po. Employee ID number. number po. So, kinakailangan mo yun para makapasok ko sa mm, system. Opo. Pero ang sabi po kasi ni Sir Eneluna po, bago po ako mag-labor, siya na po yung mag-encode sa system. Oh, okay. Siya na lang for you. Opo. Kasi nakompleto man ng requirements. Opo. Nang first quarter po. First quarter. Okay, ganito siguro. Sir, we're, we're here to solve the problem, not to create another problem. Ang trabaho huwi natin para masolbo yung problema, hindi dagdagan ng problema. Ano hong kinakailangan gawin? I think, sir, there's no problem for as long as she encodes the grade. Oh, sir, so, 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 gusto mo talaga, sir, pahirapan i-encode lang for your personal gratification and personal satisfaction. Is that what you're saying? Remember, it's not my personal gratification. Unless otherwise you can prove it in black and white, then it's your personal gratification and a personal satisfaction. I don't think so, sir. Oh, come on. Shut the fuck up. That's the policy of uh, the school. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, that's it. Put that in black and white. Okay, sir. We'll show it to her. All right. Ikaw naman. So, you can eat another one. Gusto ko na talaga magsalita kanina pa eh. Sabi mo, maraming reklamo sa asawa ko. Tatanong ko sa'yo, nasa na yung resolusyon tungkol do sa pagnanako ng flash drive namin nung June pa? Papaalala ko sa'yo, sinabi ko sa'yo noon, kung gusto mo kasuhan ng anti-war tapping, go ahead, feel free, karapatan mo yon. Pero ano nakalagay do sa recorded message na yon? Yun yung usapan natin na galit na galit ka sa asawa ko. Ano ang sabi mo sa asawa ko, June 4, nag nagpunta kami ng HR? Na possible, buntis yung asawa ko? Ano sabi mo, magiging problema ka lang sa amin pag uma-absent ka, sino magsasubstitute para sa'yo? Okay. Lahat ng lahat ginawa mo sa asawa ko. Alam mo 'yan. Alam natin 'yan. Nag-extortion. Nag-extortion ng mga kasama niya sa Filipino Department. May ginawa ka ba? Hinarang niyo rin. Okay. Lahat niyo hinaharang ninyo. Sasabihin mo sa akin ngayon, sasabihin mo sa amin ngayon na may keso, may kaso yung asawa ko, ganito ganyan. Na the question is, na action na mo ba yung complaint laban sa inyo? Papaalala ko sa iyo, kinampihan ka ng President's Secretary nung parang nagkakaproblema tayo. Ano sabi mo? Proper channeling. Kasalanan ako. Ito ko nagbigay ng letter. Nagpunta ko ng HR. Nagpunta ko. Kausap ko si Eneluna. Kayo dapat ang nagsasabi sa akin ano kailangan kong gawin kasi polisiya nyo yan. Ano sabi sa ni Estayan nung pinatawag, pinatawag mo siya? Ano sabi sa ni Estayan? Ipatatawag ko ba siya, sir? Ipapatawag ko yung asawa ni Mrs. Roquero? Ano sinabi mo? Wag na. Tapos bandang uli, ako sisisihin mo? Tama na, tama na. Iam na. Dr. Lino, Lahat. Uh, sir, I don't think I have to give comment. He is not my employee. All right, but you know, well, it's a conversation between you and, he, and him. That's why he's only vouching. No, no, sir. I'd like to inform you that he was once reprimanded by the school because no, they didn't want to send off the school. They know that. Well, what's he talking? What, 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 what's the, the now on the issue of the white topping? The issue, on the topic. issue of white topping, what is this white topping all about? What word topping is he ano talking about? Ano ho kasi, June 4, nung same day na ninakaw ni... Uh, huwag, ka, huwag ka magbigyan ng pangalan. Okay, nagdakaw, ninakaw yung flash drive namin mag-asawa June 4. Mm -hmm. Same day na sinabi ni HR na binasto siya na mam problema lang yan, nabuntis ka. Sinabi niya explicitly, si principal, mag-uusap sila. Mag Ito, si, si Lino? Yes. Okay, Sabi si niya Lino. sa kasawa ko, magiging problema ka lang sa amin, lalo na sa akin, lalo na pag a ka dahil buntis ka. Lalo na pag nanganak kasi no magsasab sa iyo. Pinang sinabi niya, uminit ang ulo ko. Oo, nagpunta ko ron. Okay. okay, you know what? I don't blame you because you're the husband. That's the way to stand up for the wife. Hindi ka pareho ng ibang mga duwag na mga lalaki. Half a man who doesn't want to, you know, uh, uh, well, defend the wife. Do you understand that Dr. Lino? Yeah, but I don't think that... I don't think that you understand that. Yeah, I understand that that's not the issue. Of Unless you're a husband, you understand that. Are you a husband? Yeah. Really? But I'm not, that's not the issue, sir. And that's the issue because he's defending his wife. I'm here. That's the way, you know, a husband will defend his wife to death. Completely, okay.
okay? All right, now I'm saying here because, hey, we're talking. We can raise our I voice. I think what you're talking to, what's telling me now, mm -hmm. is not within the confine of my job, okay? Okay. So you're asking me about the pay of that girl. Okay. All that I want, sir, is go back to the school. Okay. When she talked to the labor, the labor told them, go to the school and follow the policy. All right, so, so in other words, what you're saying system. now is that she okay, has to go, she has system. to, she has to abide by that encoding the grades on the system. The, press, the question, can she access now the fact that she's no longer in your school? After, sir, after she has encoded the grade, I don't think there will be a would you Would you let her go to school and encode a grade? Well, she was there the other day. I well, would you allow her to get into the system because she, my ID, Baba? Access? Pwede, po. pwede ka pa mag-access? Yun po, itinatry ko pong yeah. i-access yung grades, pero hindi po ma-access. Okay, hindi siya maka-access because no longer hindi valid. Po. No, hindi po talaga ma-access na yung... He has an access. Yung web po nila, nagka-crash po. Yung Sinan web daw ninyo, sir, sa EYAC, nagka-crash. Emilio okay. Aguinaldo. Well, hindi po ma-access yung IMSI. Hindi, Kaya sinasabi ng teacher ninyo, sir, eh. Okay, you can you show it to us mamaya? Okay, sir, ganito na lang, ano, kami si Bitag, investigators uko sa Misa Media. I'm not here to engage argument with you. I'm here to solve a problem. Either you're part of a problem, you're part of a solution, or part of a solution or problem. I think you're here to solve a problem. I think there was a deception from your staff. Your staff told me that I will not be on air today. Well, you're, you're on the air. That's we're, we're, we're on the air. That's for the sake of transparency be because air, there's a complaint. No. Okay, so what's the point? But she's deceiving me. No, there's not deceit. Hey, we're transparent worldwide, nationwide. What are you talking about? Is there any deceit Sorry, here? I don't like to argue, sir. Okay, because there's no way for you to I, argue I'm with me. All right, goodbye. Me. See you tomorrow. Adios. Get out. All right, tapos. You, you just access. Pupunta ka ngayon. Sasamahan ka namin. I hate people or scumbag talking that way. Principal, it says he's a husband. Give me a break. May sabi yan. Uh, oh, don't say anything. All right. <laughs> uh, sir, we will help you. Uh, sir, tanong ko lang. Okay, sige. Kanina, sabi ng team ng Pamanan Department of Education, hindi na lang sa Klaw, pero nasa NLRC, tutulungan daw, nagrareklamo at bukas ang kalang tanggapan anumang oras. Okay ba sa'yo? Okay lang. Good. Woo!